Let's begin our detailed examination of the bull mastiff with the head. It is large and square in appearance. It is broad and deep, showing a fair amount of wrinkle when alert like this. The forehead should be flat and the cheeks should be well developed. Here are examples of a bitch's head on the left and the dog's head on the right. Remember that while the bitch's head should be feminine, it should still exhibit the mass and substance of the typical bull mastiff. The muzzle should be broad and deep. It should be square in appearance, that is, approximately the same width and depth throughout. The nose must be black with large, well-opened nostrils. The muzzle should be about one-third the length of the head, measured from tip of nose to occiput. There should be a moderate stop. How would you evaluate this dog's muzzle? It is too long, which is accentuated by the chiseling under the eyes. This muzzle appears too short. Lack of foreface is a reversion to the bulldog and is undesirable. Here again is the correct muzzle proportion, about one-third the length of the head, measured from tip of nose to occiput. The wrinkling seen on this alert bull mastiff's head is typical. There may also be wrinkles on the muzzle where it meets the cheek like this. But this dog has too much wrinkle on the muzzle. This is the proper amount of wrinkling. A dark muzzle, as seen on this dog, is preferred. This bitch's lighter ears and pigment are caused by a genetic dilution factor and are less desirable. The bull mastiff should have large, even teeth, meeting in a slightly undershot bite, like this, or a level bite. An overshot bite tends to distort the typical bull mastiff expression. Flues should not be too pendulous like these are. Note that the canine teeth are set wide apart, essential for the broad, powerful jaw. Here again is a correct bull mastiff head with a large square looking skull, broad deep muzzle, large black nose, black mask, and a fair amount of wrinkling. This dog's eyes are correct. They're dark, medium sized, and set wide apart. This dog's eyes, on the other hand, are too light in color. This detracts from the expression and is undesirable. The square appearance of the skull is due in part to the bull mastiff's ears. They're of medium size, V-shaped, and carried close to the cheeks. They are set on high and are level with the top of the skull when the dog is alert. The ear should be darker in color than the body. These ears are too big. And these are too small. These ears are not carried close to the skull and are not correct. Here again are correct bull mastiff eyes and ears. See how they contribute to this typical expression.